Okay, we're going to start off by going to Employee Pay, Direct Deposit. From here, you're going to go ahead and find the employee whose direct deposit you're looking to change. And one more quick thing, if you don't want to go through the uh, menu items on the side here, you can go ahead and search in the bar here and just type Direct Deposit and it'll take you to the same spot. We're going to go ahead again and click on the employee. Now you'll notice this employee does not have any direct deposit set up yet, so we're going to go ahead and click Add New. Now for status, there are three statuses that you can choose from. The active status means that it will be effective for the following pay period. The status of inactive means that the account is no longer valid for direct deposit. And the status of pre-note means a deposit of zero dollars, I'm sorry, will be made to validate the account number. If the bank says nothing back saying account is invalid, the account will be active for the following pay period. We're going to go ahead and click active. Now the account type, you have a couple of options here. You have checking, you have pay cards, both checking and savings, and then you have a savings account. So we're going to go ahead and make this a checking account. Now sequence, you'll see that there is only two options here. There is a one and there is a remaining net. When you only have one direct deposit account, you want to click on the remaining net. Frequency typically is every pay, but if they want something different, there are many of different options there. Now you'll see since we do remaining net, both of these are grayed out for the reason being that everything is going to be going to this account. So there is no specific amount or no specific percentage. Now we're going to go ahead and enter the routing number. Enter the account number. And if you want to put a description, you sure can, but it is not mandatory that you do so. After you do that, you can simply hit save. And this will be updated for the employee. If an employee has more than one direct deposit account, feel free to go take a look at our video on adding multiple accounts for a single employee.